99 out the Firth Park Tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to episode 196 of Around the Grounds. Today I've been joined by the Fader. Hi guys. And uh, he's not going to the game today but he's, give, he's, th he's, he's kindly given me a lift to Glenrothes where we're meeting Jamie and Ali. We're going to Dunfermline versus Dundee United. It's a uh, Premiership first round of the playoff type thing. If Dunfermline beat Dundee United or vice versa, the winner plays Libby in the semi-final, then the winner plays, as it stands, Partick Thistle in the Premiership. So, um, what are you, what are you saying the score's going to be? I'm not going to say much of a score at the moment, but I'm going to tell you a story. Oh, go for it. Um, a while ago, uh -huh. I went to one of these playoff matches. Uh, yeah. It was uh, the Premiership playoff. It was Dundee United versus, versus Partick Thistle. It was oh, yeah. a one each draw uh -huh. from the first match. And the next match was at Tanadice on the Tuesday the Wednesday night. Yeah. Now, Partick Thistle went 1-0 up from a penalty. Yeah. And they should have had a second penalty and the referee bottled it called Les Mottram. Oh, who aye. went to Japan to teach referees. He absolutely bottled it and Partick should have had a second penalty. And in the last minute, Brian Welsh equalised for Dundee United. And then an extra time, a guy called Owen Coyle scored the winning goal for Dundee United and then signed for Motherwell and we lost Jamie Dolan to Dundee United as part of the deal, which was tragic, tragic, oh, tragic. But So I've been at one of these. Yeah. Uh, prediction for the score? One each. All there right. we go. Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, last time we had experience at a playoff match, that was something else, wasn't it? Oh yes, 6-1 <laughs> in aggregate, <laughs> and Bell dropped a clanger. <laughs> Cue the footage. <laughs> Brilliant. 
the court. Shown him inside all the time. So it's half time, no, no. It's been the sort of game where it's, it's been a quite in, interesting match, but both sides have lacked the end product to some extent. Uh, both sides have made mistakes and then they've made up for them. And just whenever one team is almost in the ascendancy, Bobby Madden goes the weeks and it's a free kick to the other team. Then the momentum shifts again. So it'll be an interesting second half. But then United have definitely sat in and hope they're hoping to take a draw. Because that's what it looks like to me. I think they're just confident they can do the job at the home patch. Aye, bring it on the second half. No be interesting. I've just been dropped off at market. Cheers for the lift, Ali, and 34 minutes till my train. <laughs> Tricks. I mean, while we're here, I might as well just do my match report now right? because then it just saves me so much time when I get home. So, first half, I thought quite even. Uh, I thought the felon looked more likely to score. Uh, 
you, both sides had a couple of chances and then it wasn't until the second half where there was an actual proper well carved chance. Uh, the Dundee United keeper made a couple of outstanding saves uh, at 0 0 and then Dunfermline got a man sent off. Then Dundee United finally came into the game and o overall I think a draw was a fair result. Although Dunfermline I thought had the better, better of the chances, but uh, I think Dunfermline fans will be happy with a draw considering the red cards, which was an absolute shame because Bobby Madden again uh, taking centre stage. It was a terrible decision. I thought it was, I thought it was a yellow card at most. If it was well, it was a foul, but it wasn't a red. It was never a red. But uh, aye, that's it. I think I'll just leave you guys here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was to take place on the Ross County blog because, uh, of course, a couple of weeks ago, uh, stuff happened and. Ross County vlog just never materialised. So yes, the cup final will be my 200th vlog, but uh, we've got three more games to look forward to before that. Please leave a like down below for more of the snazzy content, subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogs at 9, but wish you are. See you guys. Take care.